Junior Senior. G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today we're doing the weekly drive and yes, voted by you the viewer, we are taking a look at the Western Star, uh, it is 4864, sorry I forgot which model it was then, um, that came in with 20 votes, so congratulations to Missile, that was actually very very good. Uh, the second place winner was the Dump Truck the Peterbilt 379 and uh, that was uh, had 19 votes and then we had the improved DAF XF which had uh, 11 votes so uh, quite a lot of voting there this week guys um, so you know that that's great that's what we like to see and uh, I'd uh, while well, we're actually uh, here as well so we'll, what we'll actually what we'll do is we'll get on the road first so uh, let's start her up we are running the Packard MX-13 500 horsepower with the 18-speed transmission uh, at the moment. So that's the Eaton Fuller 18-speed. Uh, oh, oh, wrong button. That's the one that I love. Hang on, let me flick. There we go. That fixes that. Right, so let's get on the road. Now today we are going from, let me show you, we're going from Santa Cruz all the way over to Ely in American Truck Simulator. So uh, there we go there. Not too long of a drive, but, uh, you know, it's one of those things that the weekly drive, I don't like to do too long because um, not everyone likes to watch long, long videos, but not everyone likes to watch short videos. So we do a mediocre. Now, I need to bring that... Um, there we are, that up there, so I can see the uh, the changing there. I keep losing my gears in this truck. Alright. Now, here we go. Uh, today, we are also carrying... Uh, we'll switch over to there. We're carrying some wall panels. 26 ton. Uh, this should be able to pull that no problem. And, um, yeah, so 12,000 we get from this job, so that's good. Right. Now, let's get out of this place. And then we can start talking about uh, SCS News and then the truck and all sorts of stuff. Come on. This is going to be terrible getting out of here. Honk the horn. Look at this. This is. Let's go out in front of the cop. <laughs> um. All right. Gonna miss this guy. Oh my god! You just crashed into me, dude. Um. He would have taken out the front of the bull bar there, uh, front of his um, his car there, because the bull bar on the front of this is pretty massive. All right, we're gonna go. Now the trailer that we're having a look at today, or the trailer that we're having a look at today, um, is the actual Fontaine spread axle. So the trailer pack. I will actually put a link to the actual trailer pack in the description for you. So you can have a look at it. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a really cool little trailer pack that you get. You get a whole heap of things. You even get an empty trailer as well, which is really cool. Alright, so let's, um, let's talk about SCS News. Well, first of all, in the SCS News this week, um, they are doing a second glimpse at the Packard Training or Technology Center, um, where they show the actual truck going over, you know, a testing facility, how they what they run their truck through again. So, you know, it's really cool how they test their trucks over like uh, cemented in rocks, and then they, um, you know, they have, uh, you know, like a big test bank, like a racetrack sort of thing, uh, which is really cool. And yeah, so there's heaps of things there. 
and also shows the boys mucking around as well so yeah, it's pretty funny what else well we have uh, they whoa 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 okay so they said they're working hard on the uh, on the peak so oops that's right uh, so that's what they're doing at the moment so the next truck that we'll be seeing I'm gonna take a big stab in the dark here and say yes it's going to be the Pete um, the Pete 389 I'd say but um, still that's not been confirmed oh that was close I actually cut in too, sh too short with that trailer um, it's still not confirmed yet but hey look they're putting so much effort into this I'd say that it's definitely uh, on its way to being the next truck being released now um, which is good news for a lot of people because they actually showed a whole heap of the models 3d models and um, what it looks like and I have to say the models look so nice look very very good indeed so it's definitely something that um, I'm excited for new trucks I'm always excited to test new trucks so it's really good now um, what else do we have we also have some new DLCs for us oh, no sorry there is the ETS 2 legendary edition that has been released so uh, for it's it is overseas guys it's not in Australia it is actually uh, in Germany that they were saying the German publisher is actually released this so if you wanted to get some I'd say you'd have to go on to Amazon or know somebody over in Germany and Swiss you know this Switzerland that sort of place so to uh, to get your copy of that so um, yeah it, it's whoops wrong gear uh, damn it so yeah it will it's not going to be easy to get it's going to be a little bit hard guys so uh, don't expect to just go down to your local store and be able to get a copy right now um, what else there is this trailer seems like it is so long it's a bit harder to drive than a normal trailer I did not expect that um, now also we have the um, Austrian Austrian paint jobs pack some stupid reason I wrote down Australian I don't know why I wrote down Australian it's Austrian paint jobs pack I think I'm hoping and wishing that they bring out a uh, an Australian paint jobs pack um, again guys no news to when that is coming out I have heard little rumors saying that it is on the way but no actual date to when that's coming out yet so it's I've been told it's not too far away so uh, very interested to see that when it comes out um, and there is also a Swiss paint jobs pack uh, I have done the videos and I'm hoping to have them uploaded with this video but um, it all depends on whether I can get a chance to rele uh, to publish them uh, that's the only thing so um, I'm not going to publish the videos unless they're done properly so that, that means uh, you might just have to wait a little bit for those guys so uh, to be honest they are or oh, the Swiss ones already up uh, sorry the Austrian one is already up there on the web I just need to finish it off and um, just I need to, up with the same time as I upload this I'll be uploading the uh, Swiss one so whoops fifth yeah this trailer seems to be a bit different to normal trailers so seems to be a bit longer so there we go that is the SES news so thank you very much SES uh, they did also promise that they would be doing some more uh, pictures of ATS coming soon so that will be good now um, I do apologize guys I do have a bit of a cold at the moment so I'm really trying to get through that it's just a small little one it's nothing to worry about um, only thing is is I can't take um, can't take cold and flu tablets with the uh, medication I'm on for my stroke so um, that means that uh, I've just got to tough it out 
take echinacea and tough it out. So, but that's all right, not a problem. Senior's tough, I'll get through it, no big deal. Um, so if you're wondering why I'm a bit more dopey than normal, that's why. <laughs> right, uh, let's see. So, let's talk about this truck. Okay, so we've had a little bit of a hiccup this week with this truck. Now, uh, behind the scenes sort of hiccup is, is that, um, I won't go into full details, but I was asked to remove the video from YouTube. Now, my answer to that, Tamizzle, is I'm sorry, mate, no. You've asked me to review this, and that's what I did. And I had a very, very good feeling that this would be the weekly drive uh, winner. So that's why I didn't want to uh, kill everyone's dreams there, because there's a lot of people who got really excited about this. So, um... Mate, whatever the reason why you've asked me to uh, remove it, I'm sorry, but uh, no, I, I can't do that to everyone. So uh, it's it's still here, but if you can if you can find it in your heart to get this published somehow, some way, whatever you can do, uh, that would be much appreciated because I. Having a look at the comments for the sneak peek or the, the sorry mod review video, you just have a look at those and you see how many people are so interested in this truck. It is unbelievable. And they really, really are uh, very interested in this, mate. So, you know, keep working on it. Fix it. Get it going because, to be honest, I'll be honest with you, mate. Um, this... This truck here I, I thought was very, very, very glitchy and, and uh, had a few bugs and problems, but it is very nicely, the model's very nicely done, but there's still a lot, a lot of things that need to be fixed up. So you work on those things, get them fixed up, this could be a great mod. Not, a, not just a good mod, but a great and very popular mod. So that's just my opinion, um, you know, speak to some people around, you know, get some, ask people, ask some of the Junior Senior Gaming fans, even go over to the Junior Senior Gaming forum and ask them there, you know, you'll be, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised that um, this truck is more popular than what you think. So um, I'll leave it up to you mate. Uh, but uh, if I was you, I would be trying to work hard, trying to do whatever I can to make this the best truck that I possibly could. Screw all these other models, mate. Work on this. This one here is, is the bee's knees. Anyway, that's just my two cents worth. But, um, uh, yeah, uh, uh, be good to see this in the future. So, let's, we need to take a photo before the sun goes down. And, um, let's just jump out. Um, all models, all, all mods guys that I'm using today are in the description except for the Western Star. Uh, I am not allowed, I have, uh, I have actually promised that I would not release this and that's what I'm doing, I'm not releasing this. Um, so, um, at least I keep my word on that, I'm not going to, I'm not going to break my word on that, I'm not going to just release it to anyone. But, however, I was asked to do a review, so that's what I do. Oh, that's nice and bright and yellow. Let's see if we can get uh, down here. And we'll change the field of view. There we go. Bit over there. And, oh, hang on, I've got to tip it to the side. I like doing that, tip it to the side. That seems to be my signature thing now. <laughs> Tipping it to the side. I've actually had a few people compliment me on how they like that on my uh, pictures. And um, uh, some, some actual uh, YouTubers have actually sent me a message saying, why the hell didn't I think of that? <laughs> so, um, oh well. That's okay. There's always things that uh, 
I won't think about that you will, so keep trying, keep trying. Right, what else do we have to talk about? Don't forget guys, uh, the Junior Senior Gaming Forum, which uh, the link is also in the description below, where you can go and uh, talk about trucks, you can go and talk about Junior Senior related stuff, um, you can say hi to any of the guys there. So we've got um, Nace is there. He, he's in charge of the actual um, the forums. And um, Jennifer is there as well. And she's, um, she's helping Nace. So there's also the other guys there as well. Ease54 is lurking around there somewhere. Stig, he puts in a lot of content, and also Peckboy is around there as well. So if you'd like to say hello to any one of them, please do so on the forum. And if you have any questions for myself, Lean, or Junior, please feel free to also put them in there as well. We don't mind. Right, um, there is a competition that will be going very soon in there. Uh, for a copy of Euro Truck Simulator 2 with all of the DLC uh, that the you know like for example the main DLCs like Scandinavian uh, going east and Scandinavian DLC so um, if you would like to join in that then I suggest you head on over to the forum and um, register for that and when you actually see the competition there all you need to do is go in there and just say yes I would like to enter and then that's all you have to do is just that to enter and yeah you must have steam no otherwise we can't send it to you it's all done through steam it's actually quite easy to have steam if you don't have it it's quite easy to get it slip a few gears there because I didn't quite get enough speed going up there so that was my fault listen to this truck though it sounds so nice See, it, it's to me this is really, really, really got a lot of potential. Potential this truck. If um, it just fix up a few things in the modelling, that will make it all difference. And um, also, there's you know a couple of other things that need fixing, like pictures and stuff. Now, I did have a comment. Somebody had a go at me about. Um, don't need to worry about pictures in modding because nobody ever sees them well that is a load of shit um, look any little detail in there that you can put to make it better is worthwhile because we've seen all of the great mods that we've seen in here uh, Peterbilt uh, is a 389 uh, by uh, you know there, there's uh, what else is there the uh, RTA mods all of their mods have got the detail is just through the roof it is crazy so by not putting in all these little fine little you know these little icons and, and details and stuff like that that sort of you know it, it shows laziness so um, you know people can see that and people notice that so um, my suggestion to any modders out there go that little step forward go that little step extra and do those little things you know add those little those little um, icons in there um, add in those little details to the gauge that make it that much better you know and, and you'll you won't regret it you really won't spend that little bit of extra time on there oh my god I'm speeding and yeah there we go so, um, you know, it's, uh, and you, you know, I do a little bit of modding here and there too. So when I get a chance, I love to get into models and that, but, uh, um, I think that 
if I was to start one, it would probably take me two years to finish because uh, <laughs> I just don't have the time. I get busier and busier and busier every day, especially with junior senior gaming. Um, oh, one other thing that I did forget, I did nearly forget. Um, congratulations everyone, we are at our yearly goal this year. We've reached junior senior um, has reached its yearly goal so we're gonna do something special uh, to represent that we our goal for this year was to get to 6,000 subscribers and it's just what over just a little bit over the middle of the year and we're already there we did that last year too we set a goal that we thought was pretty pretty high but we'd reached it and if you remember I know a lot of you wouldn't but um, some of you may remember that we were only one exactly one year ago we were only just 1,000 subs so within that year we've gone five, up 5,000 more than 5,000 subs so congratulations everyone I think that's absolutely wonderful um, I'm chuffed I'm over the moon I have changed the goal for this year and I think that we can actually make 10,000 so I reckon by the end of the year by December 31st we can get to 10,000 subs and um, I think that that is quite an acceptable goal for us maybe a little bit hard but um, I think that we can actually get there so um, congratulations and welcome to all those new people and um, I think it's absolutely brilliant you know that we're developing such a wonderful community here of truckers like-minded people who enjoy trucking and enjoy gaming so you know that's that's brilliant and look I really hope guys that I am actually doing a good job with um, these mod reviews for you I know a lot of people do say they like them but um, I hope that I do do a good job and you like to see the mod reviews and um, yeah we've got plenty more to do in the future so I know a lot are for Euro Truck Simulator at the moment but um, yeah there is a little bit of controversy going on with American Truck Simulator um, mods so um, we're just holding our horses and hoping that there is going to be uh, a lot more mods out there But uh, we can only hold our breath because um, I'll let you know a little, uh, let you know exactly what I'm talking about. There is actually a, the controversy. Controversy is that um, the modders are actually getting very, very upset at people who are pinching other people's mods. So um, that's probably why. Um, you're not seeing as many mods out anymore because the modders don't want to bring out a mod if it's going to get nicked and they don't always do a good job when they when they release it they don't always do a good job of it so you know these things happen um, one thing is if you're going to use somebody else's model that's fine just ask them first say hey look dude I wanted to do an improved version of this I got this idea this idea this idea and this idea do you mind if I actually do that and if they say yeah or no then respect that so generally if they say no and they pinch your ideas well that's pretty low but at least you can see that it gets put in there it's the main thing but I wouldn't worry you know if they pinch your ideas they pinch your ideas it's no whoop de do you know I've had ideas pinched from me before many times right so Tanipa we're going to turn down this street here so we can discover a bit more of it man I look I really like this truck guys honestly I do I think it is very nice to drive it's handling really well um, just a trailer is uh, is new to me at the moment. <laughs> the spread axles, I think, are the the problem. Um, but yeah, it's definitely definitely a good mod, and I hope to see it get released. 
Oh, yeah, that trailer is definitely, definitely causing me problems today. See, look at that, how wide we got to go. And the trailer sort of feels a lot longer than what it is, actually. Now, um, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to thank you, the guys in the, uh, community, especially, uh, Spence. Uh, who's been helping out with the actual community um, I'll get it in the right gear damn it um, guys I can't do the comments as much as I'd like to I'm trying as hard as I can after I finish this video you, I'm gonna try and do it do the comments and get in there and um, answer all your questions but um, I look I am sorry I'm very very busy uh, I've got another project that I'm working on at the moment, which is for you guys. Um, we classify it as Project X. And when I'm finished with Project X, I'm hoping to have a little bit more time to get into it. So, um, for those guys who have been helping in the community, that is much appreciated. It really, really is. Um, guys, uh, you know... There's a few people here that uh, that ha in the actual community that have actually been answering questions that they know the answer, and I really do appreciate that. That's um, that helps out a lot. So, because um, a lot of the questions do get asked and uh, over and over and over again. So, but yeah, that's that's very good, guys. Thank you very much for that. Now, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the horror night video that I put out. Uh, it was just a little taste of what we did on the Horror Night. We did actually we do play Horror Nights for about three hours or so, um, sometimes more, and um, we have a lot of fun. I mean, as you see in that the that video, I do get quite scared. I'm a very jumpy person, um, so loud noises, um, things like that scare the absolute crap out of me. They always have, even when I was a kid. So, um, you can see in that Five Nights at Freddy 2 that I really did get, um, get scared. Customer expects delivery soon. Ah, oh, crap. We gotta start hauling ass. Damn it, I think we're gonna be late. Oh, well, that's alright. We're having fun. That's the main thing. Yeah, so, um... If you're interested in more of those uh, kind of videos, then let me know. And if you've got some suggestions, then um, either let myself or Ease know. Because Ease, I've put Ease in charge of um, doing the, the Horror Night stuff. So, um, let him know what you'd like to see. Or let myself know, whichever. And I'll see what I can do about getting those, uh, those games played. But we are only doing it once a month, and we do try to aim for the first or the second weekend in the month. Um, so, I'm going to try, uh, you know, a few things like advertising it in, in the forum. Um, so that you guys know exactly when it's on. And we'll, I'll, I'll also have to try and get on there and advertise it on the website as well, so you can see it. So, um, yeah, that'll, you know, the Horror Nights are becoming, yeah, they're becoming very popular. So if you want to see me scream like a little girl live, then uh, check out the Horror Nights that we have on Twitch. Try and get some, uh, I think the next one, I'm not sure, but uh, I think we're going to be trying some newer games, more modern games. Alright, come on. I'm hauling ass, trying to haul ass anyway. Man, this truck is so smooth to drive. So smooth. I reckon I could drive this a lot. I really could. It's sort of very close to being 
a truck that I would consider as as one of my favourite trucks uh, for, as for modelling you know for mods so it's um, yeah I think it's really good and to be honest I would think it's a shame that this wasn't shared among the community I mean if you want I could even put it on the junior senior website but I have to get permission first I won't do that um, without permission and maybe if I can get a junior senior skin in there too that would be good but um, yeah the winner of the weekly drive so this is definitely um, definitely a well well look well um, wanted truck oh that's a, a service bay I thought that was the turning area there we'll turn around that corner without knocking the uh, sign or anything if we can and let's see Ely just down here You know, if um, I'm probably going to cop some flack for this, but uh, I'm actually, I was just thinking, this is very close, very, very close to driving a real truck. You know, it really does feel like it. You probably, well, I know I could probably get from driving this, I could probably get tricked into believing that it was to a point. So, um,. So yeah, it's yeah, it I just blows me away at how how well this handles and drives and the sounds and everything. All right, let's get it in here. We'd be we'd be late at the moment, so we're probably late. That's all right. I'm just having fun driving this truck. There we go. And confirm. Oh, it's got to go in there. That's not hard. We're a plaster at Suns, are we? Or can't remember. See, we just go around the back here and drive it through. Screw backing it in, pal. I'll just drive through the middle of your garage. There we go. Take it a bit wider and tuck it in. Is that going to go through all right? Yeah, that will. Not a problem. And look at that. Very, very easy. Look at that. Brilliant. That's probably the best parking I've ever done. Oh, I hate it when this happens. I don't know what it is. But lately, I, oh, oh, did the game crash? No, oh, there we go. Lately, I don't know what it is, but it's been giving me problems with dropping off a load and picking up a load. I don't know what it is. Is it a mod or something or some of these trailer mods? Don't know. Sometimes when I flick, where is it? Gameplay. 
advanced trailer coupling. Sometimes when I flick that, it seems to work. Flick between it. So I don't know what happens there. I've actually taken off advanced trailer coupling because I, for the life of me, could not hitch my trailer up with the advanced trailer coupling on. Come on, drop it. Damn it. Can't unhitch my trailer. I'm pushing T, come on. Annoying. Not sure what does this. Got no idea, it just, it's annoying. Sometimes it just won't let me drop the trailer. So, I don't know if it's the advanced coupling or what. No, it's not any of that there, any buttons there. Bugger. Um, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. That is a pain. Drop the damn trailer. Hang on, let's go into uh, keyboard buttons. Trailer brake. Turn indicator, hazards, beacons, horns. Camera top down, roof bumper, look left. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Other trailer attach detach. Let's unassign that there. See if that works. Maybe that might have been it. Yeah, there we go. That was it. Now I know how to fix it. <laughs> oh, it's late, but ah, it doesn't matter. Shit happens. 19 minutes late. That's because we're mucking around with the the um, trailer trying to detach it never mind well there we go guys that is the weekly drive and this is the um, Western Star 4864 which I think is definitely worth being the winner of this week's weekly drive and it wasn't my choice guys it was vo it was voted by you the viewer so um, you know, I think this can be, it's got such potential to be a great mod. And maybe even this year's winner of um, best truck mod of 2016. Who knows? It just needs, and in this current state, I'd have to say no, it won't. But there are some things that I've seen around here with the model. And with inside the truck, and when you're actually, you know working on it, you know, when you're actually um, in the service center, you know, like the little icons and stuff, that would stop it from being best, you know, the best truck mod for this, this year. But if, if it gets worked on more, and I think it's got great potential. I really, really do. And I'd like to see more Western Stars. I really would like to see more Western Stars. But, that is pretty much it for this week's weekly drive. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to check out the Junior Senior Gaming Forums, guys. The link is in the description below. Just scroll right down pretty much to the bottom and you'll see it. All of the mods that I'm using today, including the trailers, except for the Western Star. Western Star is not, there's no link for that yet. None that I can give anyway. Um, so all the other links for all the other mods are in the description as well, so make sure you check them out. And if you're new to Junior Senior, then make sure you head on over to the Junior Senior Gaming channel and check it out. There is a ton of mods there to, that we review for uh, American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator 2. Uh, also other trucking games in there like, um, you know, there's Scania Test Driving, uh, Scania, what is it? Driving School, whatever it is. 
Um, there's heaps of other, you know, games in there like 18 Wheels of Steel, that sort of thing. So um, make sure you head on over there and check it out. We've also got other games like Grand Theft Auto, uh, Forza, other vehicle simulations, and Bus Simulator 16 as well. Farming Simulator, heaps and heaps and heaps of stuff there. So make sure you check it out, guys. But that is pretty much it for me today. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down. And I'm 1010 on the side. And remember, game on. Thanks for watching, YouTubers. If you'd like to see more videos, then click on the links beside. Just over here, we're taking a look at this week's second place winner for the weekly drive, the Peterbilt 379 dump truck. Just down there, we're taking a look at the Western Star 4864 for American Truck Simulator. If you'd like to visit our website or you'd like to subscribe, then click on the links below. Thanks again for watching, YouTubers, and remember, game on!